Good afternoon. My name is Alexander Hagen. I am the CEO of a small, medium-sized tech company in Silicon Valley, and I just finished doing a series on economic analysis about U.S. economic and military uh, competitiveness in the next 38 years, and what I discovered is extremely disturbing. Uh, extremely disturbing, which is that the United States, uh, according to PricewaterhouseCoopers, uh, not exactly a radical organization, will be the 11th power in the world by 2050 based on tr current trend lines. And the countries that will be the top five powers um, are countries that currently have very little debt. There is a group called the E7, the Emerging Seven uh, uh, Growth Economies, which are Brazil, Russia, India, and China, which we know as BRIC. And then there's also Indonesia, Turkey, and Mexico. Uh, South Korea is part of what they call the G7 plus three, which would be uh, France, United Kingdom, United States, uh, Germany, Japan. And... Um, what is uh, so? What we're doing right now, the United States is doing, is uh, you'll have heard Obama came up with a new tough defense strategy. Um, having a tough, uh, we are uh, we have four times as many prisoners per person as almost any other country in the world. We have more prisoners than any other country in the world. We have a higher poverty rate than we've had in decades, almost twenty percent. Um, we have. Uh, just a mess. We have a, our debt alone on defense is equal to our entire education system. People talk about uh, defense being 4% of our gross national product, but really it's more like 15% when you add the Department of Home, the War on Terror, the total War on Terror, uh, it, well, 10%. The debt alone, the interest payments alone on the defense budget are about half as big as the defense budget. It's $500 billion a year is uh, defense-related interest. Um, we are in a massive mangled problem. We're heading from first to tenth, and we're beating our chest doing it. It's instead of having real potency, we are taking Viagra pills. That is what Mitt Romney and Barack Obama are doing. They're taking Viagra. It's going to wear off, and the guys who have the real potency, Mexico, is headed to outstrip the United States before 2050. You're going to be going to Mexico. You're going to be swimming the Rio Grande to get a job in Mexico if you let these baboons keep bamboozling you. It is just shocking and frightening. There's only one politician right now who's actually running for office uh, who is aware of what's going on. And he isn't uh, as freaked out as I am uh, publicly, but I think he's figured this out too, and that's Ron Paul. Please watch my series about the New Hampshire debates where I go through this in great detail. Most of the work I did in December was re-examining these numbers. It is absolutely shocking. What you do in peacetime when you got seven new countries gunning for first place, and all of them projected to beat you, you don't go out and buy guns. Imagine if you could not afford to educate your children, you couldn't afford to feed them, you couldn't afford your mortgage, you had a business and you couldn't afford to take out ads to get customers, and you took all your money and you bought guns. What kind of person would do that? You buy guns after you have uh, your economy in order during peacetime, it is, uh, it is if, if it's not incompetence and not treason, it's just pure evil. Thank you.